Mohammed, what this, I mean, just looking at, you know, what's happening currently, I mean, all around, everywhere around the world has been affected by this pandemic. And what's become brutally apparent over the past month or so, and this is in the case of Israel, is that the Western media are reporting the Israeli vaccination efforts in the most positive lights. And of course, it is an enormous achievement to vaccinate lots of people very, very quickly. The point is that they're all Israelis and not Palestinians. And 4.55 million Palestinians in the occupied territories are not being vaccinated, despite Israel's obligation under international law. You, you know all of that. And the thing is, with this particular issue, it has gone around the world. People can actually see for the first time what is really happening. Uh, and it, because it's everything is impacting them. This pandemic is impacting them. So they can yeah. see that Netanyahu would rather export, give vaccines to Honduras, Some vaccines, yeah. to as Mara, the Czech yeah. Republic, because he wants them to... So he's using it as a political weapon. So how is your work reflecting this? Actually, I've done some, some cartoon, and this the last cartoon that I've described about the, the how I can compare between the situation with the Palestinian people under this pandemic and how the Israeli have all of this vaccination and vaccine, and they vaccinated all of the, the Israeli people uh, in, in 1948, and they prevent the vaccine to go to Gaza because they want to blackmail them and to get some of their prisoner from Gaza and they are uh, refusing to, to get some or to, get, or to give some vaccine for the Palestinian people because they don't want to help the Palestinian people and using this vaccine as a blackmailing for some, some countries to, to move their embassy or to get some, some privilege, political privilege from them or some support. And that's why I'm trying to do that for, uh, with a lot of cartoons and to, uh, to convey this problem for all the people around the world but to be honest with you we have uh, uh, we have some 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 problem with the palestinian authority they are not telling this story they they want to get this responsibility because they are claiming that they are a, a, a country and they are states and they don't they don't have any resources and they just keep talking about their, uh, the, the health uh, ministry in Palestine, the, the Palestinian Authority as a state, but they don't have any, 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 <laughs> any resources. Mm. This responsibility uh, on the Israeli shoulders, not on your shoulders. You yeah. should stop talking about that. Well, Help us Ma to- Mohammed, you, you could find yourself in trouble if you uh, depict the fact that the, the, the few vaccines that the Israelis have given have largely gone to the Palestinian uh, yeah. leadership. The Palestinian was, leadership. Yeah. And there is not any there is <laughs> not any news talking about who got, who got from all of this vaccine from the Palestinian Authority. I mm -hmm. keep asking that. Just this morning, I did some a cartoon about that, and I can't show you this cartoon. This is my computer, just a minute. About, uh, I, it's a black, but uh, it is. Yes, I'm just, you just for, caught that there. But yeah. not, I, I, will, I will send it for Omar, but that cartoon, it's yes. just, I wrote corruption in Arabic called facade and use this uh, vaccine as a, uh, the, the, one of these words to, to look, clear the word. Mohammed, this looking is, ahead, you're, you're going to be, even more busy over the next few months, I, I'm guessing, because you've got the, the upcoming elections and there's a lot of, um, suddenly, you know, the lid is being lifted on a whole range of things. It's, uh, the box is being opened. Um, President Abbas has may perhaps inadvertently opened it. And so we're hearing that, for instance, uh, Mr. Baguti could be running as a kind of, uh, as a Mandela type candidate from prison. So we're hearing all of these sorts of things. And we're hearing that uh, young people especially really do want to change. And um, I'm, I, I've got every idea, confidence that you're gonna be part and parcel of that with all of your work. But how, how do you feel things uh, will pan out over the next, next few months? Are you quite hopeful um, that these elections will clear away the old and bring about some fresh thinking and attitudes? Actually, the, our big problem there, all over that these 15 years, we, we could not create alternatives for Fatah and Hamas. I do believe that we are uh, the next generation of all of these leaders. We should create new political parties and start supporting them. 
as alternatives for all of these Fatah and Hamas, because all of our problems that this political party should be retired, should stop working, should stop representing the Palestinian people because they are not good representative for the Palestinian issues. And that's why I'm trying to do, to find these, all of these alternatives and to, to encourage the, the young people to participate and to create their political party uh, far away from the traditional political party in Palestine. Uh, I hope that the, the election will be tool to change the Palestinian situation inside the Palestinian areas. Not This election will not change anything to the election under the occupation, but at the minimum way just to create a, a new political parties. And as you say that, Mohammed, the next question came to my mind, which is, you know, when it comes to how you see yourself, do you see yourself more as a political activist or more as a caricaturist as, as, a, as a draw I mean how do you because you're very you're very political you're very active you're using your your work is for a purpose you're not a reactionary cartoonist if you like just pe poking fun for the sake of it actually you know activist is a, is a uh, like when you want to to describe someone who's doing some active using the social media using whatever the, the platforms to to do action uh, on the ground. But uh, I think, I do believe that the, the cartoonists, they are uh, always, they are active. They always, they have to, to produce something. I do believe about what, what Edward Said have said that our role as an intellectual to lead this community toward a different, different direction. Uh, it's not just we are uh, doing uh, acting, we are um, protecting our, our, our narrative. We are trying to create in, in, uh, a new situation even for the Palestinian people inside Palestine and outside Palestine. We are, uh, it is not, not just about me, it's for all of the people who are, they are produce intel, intel, intellectual uh, production. It is more than activism. It's, I, I do believe that. And, uh, and sadly, Mohammed, unfortunately, we, we are kind of moving to the end um, of our talk today, which I've, I've really thoroughly enjoyed. It's been, a, it's been fantastic talking with you. But I've got one final question, because we talked earlier of how difficult it is really for cartoon, especially for cartoonists such as yourself at the sharp end, at the, at the sharp end of a, of a terrible, bitter struggle and occupation, something that British cartoonists I mean, however good they are, and we talked about some of our favourites, Martin Roston and Steve Bell, for instance, but what would be your advice to um, people younger than you thinking about becoming cartoonists and caricaturists now? What, what would you say to them? Uh, I would advise them to find something else. <laughs> 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 I, I don't I don't need them to, to get through all of this situation that I've been in, but they should read. They, they should read more. Uh, the, 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 the mainstream media, the media, that's the traditional media, it's not the only uh, resources for the information nowadays. Maybe they should go to the to the people to visit some some places like Palestine if, you, if they want really to understand what's going on. Uh, I'm trying now to to uh, to organize international festival for the cartoonists in Palestine. I I will try to find some resources because I do believe that if the if I can invite all the cartoonists from around the world to visit Palestine and to see the situation uh, in Palestine, that's that will change a lot of perspective that when they are talking about Palestinian people. Well, Mohammed, thank you very, very much. And to everybody watching, you know, please follow Mohammed online on Twitter. Do look at his work. You've got another book coming out. Actually, tell us what the what's the title of your your second book that you're working on right now. No, we are looking for a title, but it's gonna be uh, the ah. story. You know, maybe the last one is the story is Palestine, not of Palestine. Well, perhaps we we can encourage some of our viewers to send in their ideas. That's what yeah, we should sure. do. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm, I'm trying now to, uh, I, also I'm trying now to do something else like printmaking and some exhibition, online exhibition for the people if they want to see something about Palestine. Well, well, good luck, Mohammed. Good luck with everything that you're doing. And, and uh, we hope to have you on again. We hope to see more of your work. I hope to see you when you're over in the UK next. And uh, we, we look forward to seeing and reading your 
your latest works when they all come out. So thank you so much. Thank um, you. It's been wonderful talking thank with you. Thank you.